I told you not to get off. What if the train had gone without you? So, you're taking a job as a ship's doctor. I am excited, but nervous, too. <laughs> I'm not exactly a champion swimmer. <laughs> if you wind up in the water on board a ship, something's gone terribly wrong. that in the museum. <clears throat> that didn't quite go according to plan, did it? And I hate it when things don't go according to plan. <clears throat> you nearly killed them. You let them catch you. Uh, it, it wasn't my fault. Scotland Yard was there. If I thought it was your fault, you'd already be bobbing in the River Thames with a bullet in your head. <coughs> Someone tipped them off. I don't know who, but I'm going to find out. Where is the jewel? Ah, marvelous. But it's just half the set, and stealing the second eye will be more difficult than I'd anticipated. Why are we meeting here and not in Venice like we planned? London drew more attention than planned. They put Legrand on the case. Nicholas Legrand? He's searching the train. Should Shouldn't we postpone the plan under these circumstances? On the contrary, I gave him an anonymous tip. A tip? I told him that the train will be robbed. You don't seriously suggest that we steal the jewel right under Legrand's nose? Of course, because I'm an idiot! Our best bet is still Cairo. Everything is prepared. Mr. X will provide us with everything we need. As planned, I'll go to Venice together with the Baroness and board the ship there. You'll do the same, but as surreptitiously as possible. All right. And under no circumstances can anyone be permitted to discover our relationship. Understood. And the rest of the plan is as before? We just have to get on board the ship. Then I'll get in the car, and we'll meet in Venice. No. Legrand necessitates a change of plan. You'll go by train as well, and place this envelope on the safe as soon as the train halts in the tunnel. I'll cause a blackout so that you can sneak past the guard. You won't believe who's guarding the safe. That blasted Bobby from London. If you have any trouble, cave his skull in. And Legrand? You take care of the letter. I'll take care of everything else. The most important thing is that no one recognizes you on the train. And that I don't get caught. What's the purpose of the letter? That's not your concern. I'd just like to know whether I'm risking my life for some game of yours, or whether it's worth it. Any one of my games would be worth your life. You just do what I tell you. Stick the letter on the door of the safe, or leave it on top of it. I don't care. But the letter has to be there as soon as Legrand shows up after the blackout to make sure everything is in order. Understood? Yes. What? Yes, understood. Hasn't the Baroness grown suspicious? She's wrapped up in a veil of alcohol, arrogance, and disinterest. Only flattery, gossip, and Belgian chocolate can penetrate it. Ideal conditions. I'll be glad to be rid of that old hag. She's my ticket to the most important museums in Europe. But these have been the longest six months of my life. How are the injured guards doing? How the devil should I know? You didn't need to do that. What? Save your bacon? I'd have made it out on my own. Oh, yes. The poor security guard. It really wasn't necessary. I'm such a naughty boy. I just don't want anyone to get hurt. Oh, please, please, don't be angry with me. I won't do it again. I don't know. We have the first eye, and we only just escaped. Tell me you're not suggesting that we should be satisfied with that. One eye alone is nothing more than an expensive bauble. But both eyes together are a legend. My greatest triumph. Shouldn't I put the eye somewhere for safekeeping? Just in case Legrand searches our things. I'll hide the jewel in the Baroness's luggage. I already know where. 
the Grand won't dare search her belongings, and even then, he'll never be able to open the secret compartment. Okay, so we'll see each other in Venice. And not sooner. Here, take your travel documents. We may not have an opportunity to meet in Venice. Okay, fine. Huh, that's the first change of plan so far. Ah, uh, whatever. Looks like I'll be going to Venice by train. The crate must have had bananas or something in it. It's empty now. There probably isn't a single newspaper between Moscow and Madrid that's not reporting on the burglary. I'm famous! Unfortunately, not for the sort of elegantly executed theft I'd like to be known for. It's built out of thin wooden boards. Probably didn't have to bear much weight. This wooden crate is big enough to completely conceal the bag. It'd be protected from prying eyes. And I could make my exit from the scene of the crime unnoticed. There's still one problem. Someone might see me picking up the bag and putting it into the crate. A leather bag like the ones used by country doctors for carrying their equipment. Hmm. If I swipe the bag, it'd cause confusion while people look for it and I might be able to sneak onto the train. The only problem is, I can't take the bag with me. Burglary in British Museum, one casualty. 5,000 pounds damage, culprit unknown. Return of the Raven? I'd have escaped anyway, but Inch just couldn't resist playing with dynamite. I hope the security guard recovers soon. They won't let me ride along in the freight car, not even if I ask nicely. Some of the passengers got off the train to stretch their legs, but this man started his journey right here in Zurich. He waited a good 10 minutes for the train and began to get impatient. Judging by the bag, he's a doctor. He radiates self-confidence, almost arrogance. Clothes maketh the man. Put a uniform on a short, old, rather chubby little man, and they'll show him all due respect, even if he's only a constable. The uniform alone gives him power, and that counts for a lot in this part of the world. I'd better not interrupt their conversation. As long as they're talking to each other, they're distracted and paying less attention to their surroundings. This is the saloon car. Fully furnished with a bar and all the niceties. The ladies and gentlemen would have a fit if I just waltzed in there wearing these clothes. If I try to just get on the train, the conductor would probably stop me and might even turn me over to the police. I can't risk that. Huh. Even if I was able to distract the conductor and slip onto the train, I'd stick out like a sore thumb with these shabby clothes. I have to find something more suitable. Not a chance. The doctor could easily spot me taking his bag. He'd sound the alarm, and our Swiss friend would have no choice but to arrest me. And then we'd have a real problem. This wooden crate, it'd be protected from their still... A ticket for a trip on the MS Lydia from Venice to Cairo, some banknotes, and a passport, blank. No personal info, no picture. Inch has brilliant contacts in the underworld. He knows the best counterfeiters, technicians, pickpockets, and con men. He remains anonymous, though. Most of them don't even know they're working for him. Mr. X, his contact in Cairo, 
probably doesn't have a clue who he is. My travel documents. I shouldn't have any trouble getting to Cairo now. Inch loves the spotlight and has a flair for the dramatic. Why else would he call himself the Raven? I don't like having to risk my own neck as part of his drama. What's the point of leaving messages for his opponent? Sometimes you can find useful things in a waste bin, but this one seems to have been emptied recently. The conductor from the train. He's keeping a watchful eye on his passengers and their luggage. The train's been held up, and he seems to want to prevent further delays. If I try to just get on, I can't. I could probably pry the bottom boards off without too much effort. They're thin, and the nails are short. Perfect. It looks like a normal crate. It's now or never. Hey, you! Scrap! Uh... Yes, sir. Let the games begin. Excuse me, gentlemen. No. Can't you see that I am talking to the constable? The train is leaving in a few minutes, sir. I have to ask you to board it now. We should get on. Perhaps we'll be able to continue our conversation during the trip. I won't stand in the way. <laughs> Where's my bag? You left it right there. I know that. I want to know where it is now. I, I don't know. I, I'll look for it right away. If you gentlemen would get on the train in the meantime... I will hold you and your employers liable for this. I'm sure he'll find the bag. Come on, Dr. Gibhart. I will help you with your luggage. Fine. The conductor doesn't really seem to know where to search for the lost bag. Finding a particular piece of luggage at a railway station is like finding a needle in a haystack. You seem to be searching for something. Can I help? Go away. There's no money to be earned here. That's not what I mean. I just thought... If you're looking for a brown bag... Why? Did you steal one? If that were true, I wouldn't be offering to help you. I saw a little blonde boy take the bag. He ran off with it, over there. Really? Hmm. Thanks. Isn't that the bag? Where? Nothing personal. No! Oh, man! Oh. 
Let me have a look. Damn, I can't let the professor see me. I shadowed him for days in London. He might recognize me. Calm down. Professor Lucio seems to travel light. The Baroness's luggage takes up half a freight car. I don't think that the suitcase or the bag contain anything that could help me out. I'd better leave as little evidence as possible. My God, I barely look like myself. I'm not as good as the Raven slipping into other roles. He's had decades to perfect it. Whatever. It'll be good enough for the people on the train. Professor Lucien hasn't slept a single night in the cabin yet. The towel is unused. Huh. If I twisted it, then I'd have a sort of rope. The sink. The sink. No, that won't help me now. up easily. It was the only window that was open in the station, so it was a good way to get onto the train, and now it might be my only way out. <sighs> the window to the right should be the Baroness's cabin, and the one on the left is the saloon car. The roof could be my escape room. level with the roof, but the roof is too slanted and smooth to climb. Those are air ducts or something, but I can't reach them with my hands. Those are air ducts. on a train. Secured with a heavy padlock. No, not what I need. I should be able to move about freely in the train, as long as I keep away from Professor Lucien. The other guests don't know me, and conductors change several times during the journey. A new face shouldn't seem suspicious to anyone. Young man. 
Yes, sir. Tell me, when did they switch to self-service on the Orient Express? Should they not have informed the passengers about that in advance? Uh, forgive me, sir. I was... And what about my bag? Hmm? Did your colleague find it? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I, I don't know. I expected as much. There will be consequences. And now, bring me my coffee. Of course, sir. dish with old people's candy. Butterscotch, I think. Beer, wine, champagne, gin, brandy, and whiskey. <laughs> The richest snobs take the same medicine as the poorest slobs. Some people need a drink to steady their nerves doing what I'm doing, but not me. I want a clear head if I'm going to get this envelope onto the safe. There are several special keys. Lucky for me that I have the key and the people outside don't. That way, the locked door will keep them at bay a little while longer. Even pigs get to drink from the finest porcelain. If I mess with the doctor, I might blow my cover. So I'll have to grin and bear it and serve our esteemed passenger his coffee. If I mess with it, so I'll have to... A small portable radio. The reception is surprisingly good here in the mountains. I won't be able to use the radio, but the antenna, on the other hand, a thin, short metal rod that can be extended. Something like that might come in handy. There's still some coffee left. Gentlemen. Do you know what the problem with people like you is? Um, you mean our lack of a sense of duty, or our skin color, or a lack of respect for our elders? <laughs> we have so many flaws. Locked. Let's see. It fits! Huh. A lot of odds and ends. A hairnet, batteries, a half pack of cigarettes, an unused toothbrush. The bartender probably has to serve as a jack of all trades, like a concierge in a hotel. So, is there anything useful? Here we go. A small shaving mirror. No, I don't need anything else. even want to hear why it took so long to get his coffee. He just wanted to tear into someone, just wanted to assert his will. It's a sad life if you have to pump yourself up by deflating others. The old lady didn't get on in Zurich, and she doesn't look like someone from Nancy or Basel. I'm guessing she boarded in Paris. Uh, she seems familiar somehow. I've seen her someplace before. Maybe she used to be an actress, and I recognize her from photos. She has the confidence of someone who doesn't have to prove herself anymore. She's rich, that's for sure, but it's not just that. I'd better not talk to her. 
Her eyes are intelligent and observant. Something tells me I'd only make life difficult for myself if I try to pull the wool over her eyes. The younger woman seems to be some kind of carer or companion for the older lady. I wouldn't like to be with her all day long. She radiates a certain restlessness and unease. The elderly woman's carer can't keep her hands still, so she's knitting. Can I bring you ladies anything? Is everything satisfactory? Everything is wonderful, young man. Very good. Got it. I think Professor Lucien is still in the hallway, trying to get into his cabin. I'd better wait until the coast is clear. I know people like that always have to be doing something. They feel useless if they don't have anything to do. I feel sorry for them. It also seems big enough to climb through. I'd say I found my way in. In theory, I could use the mirror to get a look at the front of the car, but my arm is too thick to fit through the grate. The cover has two hinges on the back. It's possible to open it, but the two screws on the front hold it closed. I can't see anything but the rear of the car through the slots. Well, that won't do. What I really need is a view of the front. Huh, if I have to. That should do it. It sticks. Candy is so sticky that it will hold the mirror without any trouble. As I expected, it sticks. There's the guard. The safe is directly beneath the ventilation shaft. I can shimmy down the shaft and hit him on the head from behind. Uh-oh. Are you okay, Robert? Nothing to report, sir. At ease. Any suspicious passengers come aboard in Zurich, sir? Hmm. Not really. It could be anyone and no one. But we've received support from the Swiss police. A certain Constable Zelman. Oh? Very motivated. Might get on our nerves. That limits my options. I can't overpower two people. I don't think I'll be able to slip into the carriage unseen after all. Oh, there has to be a way. I have to keep Inch happy. How do I get you onto the safe, or on top of it? The safe is directly beneath the ventilation shaft. An inch said something about a blackout and a tunnel. I could use the moments of confusion and darkness to toss the letter onto the safe. It might work as long as I manage to open the ventilation shaft and choose the right moment. You'll get it back in Venice. Frightening me like that. I could have fallen under the wheels. I thought you were a ghost. Ghosts don't exist. They do too. One just flew past my window. Be off with you. Oh, man. I can use 
use these? Phew, that was close. He left the lock open. How convenient. Let's see. A wrench, you don't say. This is too easy. I know where to find you. They should have been able to open the door with pliers. I think the coast is clear. probably find some excuse to sneak out to trigger the blackout and engage the emergency brakes. No idea how he expects to pull that off. He usually leaves me in the dark about such things. Even after months of partnership, he still doesn't trust me completely. Just a few more days and I'll finally be rid of that creep. And until then, he has to burn in his own personal hell with the Baroness. A nice thought. Obviously, they managed to open the door. I wonder who or what the archaeologist thinks locked it. Did he connect it to the burglary in London? Uh, probably not. Professor Lucian is on his way to Cairo, just like the Baroness. They both know each other. She chairs the Friends of the British Museum Club. I hope he's too shaken up to leave his cabin until we reach Venice. Is this a Stradivarius or something like that? If it is, maybe I should take it with me during the blackout. With any luck, I'm going to be a happy family man soon, and I'll need a few francs, lira, or marks. Self-control. Side jobs always lead to complications. There are enough unknowns in our plan as it is. No need to add more. train in Zurich. Handsome devil. I'm glad my girlfriend isn't here. She loves to make me jealous. And once I'm raging mad, she leans forward and whispers one of those phrases that only she can say. for travelers, some pictures, and the schedule all neatly hung up with magnets. Uh, won't work. There's a lock at the bottom of the window. Climbing over the coal car is the only way to get into the driver's cab while the train is moving. I can't imagine Inch climbing over it to trigger a blackout up front. I bet he paid someone to do his dirty work. Inch almost never takes personal risks, and usually he tries to keep his hands clean. A handy Swiss army knife. A absorbed in his own problems, he won't be paying attention to anyone else, and won't be able to offer good testimony to the police. We're still in the Swiss Alps. We should reach the Italian border in half an hour.
the different routes the Orient Express took in the course of its long history. It's larger than the other notices, and thus hung up with larger magnets. <laughs> I'll take one with me. Some of the photos are rather nice. Professional work. Swiss Army nut. to open the two screws on the front open. I could unscrew the screws, but I should only open the cover inside the tunnel. Put that on the floor. Yes, sir. That was close. If the second screw makes that much noise, it's over for me. No way. If the second nut also hits the floor, Legrand will know that I'm up here. My only option will be to jump from the train. to the string. Done.
All right. We should. What? The light's gone out. Flashlights. Ah, get off me. There, sir. An envelope. My dear Nico, you should take a closer look at the box. Ah, what the dickens? It's... it's a... Away with it! Take cover! <laughs> <laughs> 